Last weekend, we decided to go out and have a perfect day on the North Shore. We had done this before in February, mm -hmm. and just it was probably my favorite day to date of living on Maui. So we thought, hey, let's repeat it, let's do it again. But it didn't really work out as planned, just to add to our week of hard drive failing and lots of other little issues. So, so we decided, hey, we still have some footage from our very favorite day back in February that we've never shared. So let's share some of that and we'll give you some <laughs> glimpses into what happened this week when we tried to redo it. Hi, I'm Jordan. And I'm Erica. We're from the Hawaii Vacation Guide and this is our ideal Maui North Shore itinerary. Yeah, it's a nice little loop of upcountry North Shore. We like to call it Haiku in Paella. First, we're going to the Kula Farmer's Market, Kula's famous for its produce. And it's on Saturday mornings. And yeah, yeah. it's our first time checking it out, so and we're our, excited. Our friend says you gotta get there early if you want fresh fish, but we're just going for produce. But yeah. I thought that was a helpful tip. Like, yeah. either like right when the guy shows up, because it comes right off the boat. For you. Look at all these people. This is a popular place. So our first stop of the day is the Kula Upcountry Farmer's Market. It's this nice little shopping complex. It's awesome. We've never actually been in this area and it has so much stuff. I'm we excited. Yeah, we love upcountry. Henry wants to find the playground though. So we'll see if there's a playground here and Erica will do a little shopping. You like the ducks? Yeah. So it's corn from those three? Yeah, this is bolita amarillo, bolita velatobe, and this is chalqueño cremoso. Oh, cool. And then I make everything by hand. This is good. Good run, huh? Yeah. So that was delicious food at the farmer's market. So we're gonna head for more food now. Only Ono Barbecue. This place is really cool. So it's dim sum and paella. And for COVID right now, they're doing like drive-in service. So we had an order online. I've been text messaging with them. They send you a menu, it's price fix, and then you get all these dim sum add-ons. And it's great, you don't even get out of your car, the cars are socially distanced. They're just gonna eat in the car or maybe take to the beach. We'll yeah. see, but it's gonna be a fun little experience, like yeah. the, the new normal in Maui, right? So far, very cool. Oh, it smells so good. Little tea. That's adorable. That shit does look amazing. We got the meatballs, we got some desserts. Oh my god. And look at this dim sum, man. We got some sand in our we trunk. We got sand in here. Daddy. Yeah, buddy. Oh, look at you. I'm not an expert with chopsticks, but I'm an expert at eating dim sum. Cheers. Cheers. Success. Mm. Lovely. <laughs> One to ten, Hattie. How comfortable is that? <laughs> no? Okay, what's so nice about this itinerary, this like North Shore itinerary, it's a little loop, right? So you can grab food and paella, and then now we're driving up the North Shore, the Hana Highway, to Twin Falls. You can grab the fruit stand there for some great banana bread or fruit. Um, and then after Twin Falls, you go zip lining. It's all this nice little loop around the North Shore. It's really nice. Yeah. So we made it to Twin Falls. We absolutely love this place. It's great. Twin Falls is open, but unfortunately the fruit stand is closed because uh, of COVID. So we're going to show you some of our footage from February when we were here and this place was popping. Are you excited to see a waterfall? That's a no. <laughs> Real big no. Jordan, are you excited to see a waterfall? I'm thrilled. 
By the way, he likes everything we take him to. Of course he doesn't, but then we win him over. It's already pretty full. It's 9 a.m. But then he thinks road to Hana. So, you know, it's called fill up anyways because everyone starts the road trip early. There's additional parking a little farther down. Banana bread. Banana bread. Yeah. So six dollars. Four. Okay. Oh, that oh, that smells yeah. so good. You guys bake it in the truck here? Just down the road from here. Ah, all right. Very yeah. nice. All right, buddy, you want to pick one? Here Some we go. Banana bread. Yeah. Twin Falls is on private property, which is a farm, so there's no commercial activity allowed, and you want to respect the area. They've done a really good job revitalizing the forest here, making it really nice for us. What is it, bub? Wow. It's beautiful along this trail. There's waterfalls all the way along it. So you kind of see it through the tree down there. It's probably the roughest part of the hike right here. Steeper over here. A little steeper. We didn't want to jump off the waterfall with, with Henry and Hattie. So instead we gotta kind of scale this little cliff but we're being very cautious. Woo! I am athletic, I swear. So pretty. This is great. What a great little place to go swimming. Henry, how do you kick when you're in the water? Good job! <laughs> Colder than the ocean. <laughs> yeah, well worth the trip in the very short hike. <laughs> very short, not even a hike. A walk from the parking lot. Patty's worried for her. Patty's nervous. Alright, let's scale this thing. Comes to sink the day. Nice way to the waterfall, buddy. Girl, howdy, girl. What are those? What is it? Yeah. yeah. God, such an environmental dude. <laughs> so, uh, what were you happy about, Erica? I'm really happy I jumped in. Dougie. 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 What? I don't know what that means. Dougie. Dougie. <laughs> if you're gonna Dougie. come here. Dougie. <laughs> if you're gonna come here, definitely jump in the waterfall because it's fun and deep and easy. Um, bring proper footwear. Bring like water shoes or tivas or something you can hike and get in the water in. Um, these weren't helpful. So, yeah, water shoes. I don't know. If you're right. I just checked my emails and they canceled zip lining. Old McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had some turtles. Turtles! With a gulp gulp here and a gulp gulp there. Three of them over there. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Throwing them to get up. They're all sleeping. Here we are at Kua'a Bay. Um, this is an excellent place to see sea turtles. So people recommend going just a little farther down to a different beach, but it's a lot more crowded and there are fewer turtles. So this is the spot to come see them. And remember, you're supposed to stay, I think it's at least 10 feet away from them. Don't disturb them, just admire from afar. This guy here, he's lounging. 
Okay, thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. And while we love having our perfect, perfect days, we also love making itineraries. So we have a ton of free itineraries down below in the description for you. So go ahead and check those out so you can start planning your trip when it is safe to come back here again.